Good morning, this is Renee Tuga from FIMBY and I'm here today at Simple Home School to show you how I've organized my planning and record keeping for the upcoming school year. First of all, this is Mama's <laughs> planning and record keeping binder. Each of the children have their own and I'm going to get there in a minute. I should say first something about the binders. I love using these white binders um, or they can be other colors but the ones that have the plastic on the outside because I can slip in inspirational just things I want to look at and meditate and dwell on in the covers. The first section of my binder is the planning section. So in the planning section I'm I'm keeping a calendar calendars. I don't normally um, fill these in. This is, well, sometimes I do, but this is just to like, so I can look at the dates when I'm making plans for which weeks we're going to school, which weeks we're not. Then I have, every week, I keep track of what we are learning in both the morning school time that we have and throughout the week and just the everyday learning that goes on. I keep track of certain areas that we are focusing on during this particular season with our children. And so right now, um, what I'm doing in this year is I've got sections handwriting, writing, spelling, world study and history, math, reading, Bible, science and nature study, phys ed and outdoors, and fine arts and others. And then I've got a little organizational part down here for me to write organizational notes each week. I do one of these each week um, while we're schooling and I actually on the weeks that we don't school, the weeks that, you know, or even a month that we're taking off, I, I do this during the times that we're off too because we're learning all the time and so I, I keep track of those. Admittedly, there's, I don't spend as much time on this on the weeks that we're off because we're busy doing other stuff and I don't have as much dedicated mental time to school, record keeping. But that's how I keep track of what we're doing on a weekly basis. So I just keep those sheets in here, the blank sheets. And after they've been filled out, they will then go into the record keeping part. This is a planning at the first section and record keeping behind. And then I have, for each of my children, Celine, Laurent, Brienne, I have this, the, the seasonal plan for them in all of those areas. I divide up the year into three terms. Um, it sounds all very formal, but it's really not. There is the fall, which is September, October, November, December. And then there is winter, uh, January, February, March. And then there's spring, summer, which would be April, May, June, July, August. So that's five. Um, and I kind of have a time to stop and think before each of those terms or seasons start about what our learning goals are for that particular time. So I've done that for the fall term for each of the kids and that is in the planning section. And it's the same categories that I'm using on the weekly basis to record what we're doing. And I've, I've just sketched out what our goals are. Then there's a section just called plans and ideas and this is just, you know, the place that you put where you see something and you think, I wanna use that someday. Um, I wanna check out that resource. I want to take a field trip to that place, this is where that information goes. At least in, in my binder, this is where that information goes. And then book lists. And we read books, that's how we learn. And so I have, oh, this is probably the least organized section because I have all kinds of different book lists in here and I just scribble down books that we wanna read. I, I, I pull book lists from different sites that I find on the internet and you know, I'll print them off and I'll put them in here just so I have a visual of some of the books that I would like us to be reading. Basically, it's just titles to keep at the tip of my mind if, I, if I'm at a used bookstore and I'm like, oh, I always wanted to, to get that. That's a good book for the kids or at the library. So I'm back again in the afternoon to finish doing this video because when I went to edit it, for some reason, the last half was missing inexplicably. So it looks a little bit different, but I did want to finish showing you how I'm doing the record keeping for my school year coming up. So where I was at was I was showing you the planning and record keeping binder that I keep track of. And I was about to show you before the last video died that in the front 
I have the planning, which is what I finished off showing you the book lists. And then the second half of my binder is the record keeping. And the sections of record keeping, this is for the family learning because like I said before, we do a lot of things together as a family and these things then go in the family binders as opposed to the children's individual learning binders. So this is the, the sections I have, eight sections in the record keeping part of the binder that correspond with the different areas that I have set out on our weekly learning sheet. As we do things together as a family, as we write poetry, that will go in the language section. And as I go through the year, I'm just going to file those right in. And sometimes they'll go in plastic sheets and like if there's something, you know, like a, a bunch of papers that I want to keep together, I'll put it in a plastic sheet and put it in a page protector. Otherwise, I'll just hole punch and, and uh, put the sheet in like this to keep track of. So this part is mostly empty because this is the record keeping for the year and we haven't yet really started our year. So this part will get filled up as we go through the year. And then the, the other part of the record keeping is the children's own learning binders. Celine is 12 and Brienne's eight and Laurent's 10. And as they are going through their week and they do things that are individual to them, like map work or, you know, samples of a handwriting, copy work and dictation, uh, just things that they're doing individually, the things that we decide to save will go in their individual learning binders and they will file it themselves. And their dividers in here then correspond to the learning, the weekly learning sheet sections that I have correspond to this sheet that I showed you, but I simplified it for them. Sorry about that. Simplified it for them to just basically four sections for them to put their individual copies of their work into. And I've got a blank one here for something that comes up. You know, we might have something, well, we wanted to keep track of this particular type of thing and I didn't think of that in the planning. So there's an empty one there, but I've kept it simple for them in just language, world study, math and science, art and other. And the things that they want to save are the things that I want them to save that demonstrate, you know, their progress and proficiency in those areas or just interesting things to them will go in their individual binders. That is the, that's my, my planning and record keeping for this next school year coming up.